Hey everybody, welcome to our first gear of the year, kind of year end, look back at all the great things that we use this year. 2022, we use a ton of really cool products, some that were like brand new to us, some that we've used in the past, but we just, they're so kind of underrated that we just, we find ourselves keep going back to them. And it's stuff that we think that everybody should be using out there. And like the great radio host, Eddie Trunk always says, if you're gonna have a list, it better be weighted because if it's not, it really doesn't mean anything. So we're gonna try our best here to count down from number five down to number one. We're gonna start at number five and we're gonna work our way up. So stick around to the end to find out what the very best piece of gear that we used in 2022. And we're gonna start right now. Number five. All right, coming in at number five is the Milwaukee Rotary Tool. We did a video like a year and a half ago, it's right here where we talked about using a rotary style tool to sharpen your hooks. We'll update that video. I'm not gonna go through it right here, but this is something that we always have in the boat. Works so well, so easy to just put in a bag if I'm going with Dave or Dave's coming with me. We always use it, super easy to touch up the hooks. And we always have a flat file, we always have a round file, but we always have the Milwaukee Rotary Tool for sharpening hooks. Okay, another piece of gear that's almost always in the boat, again by Milwaukee. This is a little pack and go radio, and it just battery slides in the back. Bluetooth, we set it up to our phone. We can listen to whatever we want. You guys probably seen it in the videos lots. Whenever we get hooked up, we're reaching over to turn the volume down on this. We're really big on having music in the boat everywhere we go. Whether it scares the fish or not, I don't know. We honestly don't care because we're out there to have fun. And a big part of that is having music playing. And you guys probably all hear kinds of music that or hear the kind of music that we're playing when this thing's going. So this is number five of the gear of the year, Milwaukee Rotary Tool. And you gotta have some music and you might as well just get a boom box from Milwaukee. Number four. All right, moving on to number four. I have a couple gripes about musky fishing and seeing what other guys doing in their boats. I hate having lures hanging all over the boat, lures stacked up in corners, lures anywhere you could be standing. We like to fish bare feet because we run our foot pedal with our toes just for the left and right functions. We're really big on keeping the casting deck clean front and back. And there's lots of guys that just have lures everywhere. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Brian Scaife. Your boat always is a mess. You have lures everywhere. Somehow you have controlled chaos and it works for you. So for us, we always just use plano boxes, throw our lures in there. We can pack them away. It's kind of inconvenient. Well, last year, Josh over at Wreck and Rack wanted us to try one of his boxes. So this is customized with our logo on the top. Awesome box. It's one of those things that it's in the boat every single time that we're out, yet you guys don't really see it. But this thing's super durable. You can stand on it. I put it right in the middle of the bass cat. If I'm going with Dave, I have enough in here to go for a whole weekend. Throw it in Dave's boat. You can stand on it. You can cast off of it. Doesn't take a lot of room. Super strong. We can lock it if we're going somewhere where you're worried about that. Nice organizers in it. Super strong lid, super strong hinges. Check them out, Wreck and Rock. And if you guys are interested, Josh will do one for you with my logo on the top. Again, permission to use our logo. So if you guys are interested in a 54 or bust storage tackle box, definitely hit up Josh at Wreck and Rock. All right, I definitely couldn't uh, go without mentioning the new bump board we got from Wreck and Rock. And this is another one we got customized. It's got our logo built into it. Got this cool little thing that says smile. So if you're getting bump board pictures with the fish up there, just super custom, super unique. There's maybe one gripe I have with this board. It can be a little bit hard to see at a glance some of the measurements, but Josh and I are working on an idea to kind of widen some of these marks. It'll be easier to see, but awesome board love it and again if you guys are wanting one with my logo i give josh permission to do some up with my logo on it so definitely check out wreck and rock number three 
Okay, halfway there. Number three is something, again, that you guys just don't see in the boat in our videos. But we never hit the water while we're filming without this thing. Lake Simcoe Power Box. And we always pair it with Linac Lithium Battery. This thing powers GoPros. We can charge our phones. We can charge cameras. can do so much with this thing. But I just like it to just be able to plug a couple GoPros in for each tower. We have a couple of them. And I can grab one or two depending on the situation. Super light. It's got a display on it. Tells us what the voltage is. Again, it just, it's so easy to just throw in. And it's just such an indispensable item for us. Hey guys. So here I am at the back of the boat. We're out sucker rigging right now. Richie actually just caught one jigging a Bondi, which is pretty cool. But I want to talk about one of the top pieces of gear we had this year. Lake Simcoe Power Box. The guys over at Lake Simcoe Power Box were kind enough to set us up with a couple for this year. Got a Linac lithium battery in there. So that runs two tower cams. We also use it to run cams at the front. Use it to charge our phones. It's got a light built into it. Use it ice fishing, handy all across the board. But for us, being out on the water, not every day, but three, four times a week, running cameras, we need a reliable power source. And this has just proven to be almost the easiest way to power all our cameras. Great for camping, great for fishing. Definitely check them out, Lake Simcoe Power Box. And to go along with that, I just want to talk about Linac lithium batteries. We're gonna do a full review and kind of a run through on how I had my boat set up this year, but absolutely love having the power of lithium all year. And we're gonna be doing more with Linac lithium for next year. So the combination of Lake Simcoe Power Box, Linac, number three on our list of things that we just absolutely had to have in our boat never let us down and definitely one of the best pieces of gear that we had number two okay guys at number two on our list of gear of the year for 2022 something that we've used now for probably six years it's kind of one of the unsung heroes in our boat we use them constantly in the fall and yet we don't really think much of them never had one fail they've always been dependable we use them for trolling as well as sucker rigs and that's the Okuma Cold Water Series line counters. This one here is probably six years old. I haven't done anything to it, and we abuse them pretty hard in the fall. Hasn't let us down. This is the original series, I believe, with brass gears inside. And this is the newer one with stainless steel gears. I have three or four of these. Dave has three or four. And like I say, they've never let us down. And this fall especially, we got three personal best fish on these Okumas. And for Kyla in our boat, she got her personal best muskie on this one. And she got her personal best tiger on this one, which is my oldest line counter that I have. And that's just saying something to the durability of these Akuma reels and the price point for them. They're very inexpensive for what you get, and they're just, we couldn't high, we recommend them highly enough. We absolutely love them. Dave's girlfriend, Ange, got her personal best on a new model with the stainless gears. But for us to get three personal bests on some of our favorite reels, and just, we don't really talk about them much. I just felt that this was a great opportunity to just kind of remind everybody that these Akuma cold water reels are definitely worth the money. And if you guys are in the market for a relatively inexpensive yet very durable reel for the average kind of weekend angler, definitely check out the Akuma cold water line counters. Number one. All right, guys, we are down to number one. And this is like far and away my favorite piece of gear of the year. And when I ordered this rod, and this is the nine foot Moab from Chaos Tackle. I ordered it with the Revolution Reel Seat. I wasn't sure what I was getting. I was kind of suspecting it was going to be too heavy for a lot of what I wanted to do. I didn't use a ton of big rubber, but when I got this rod, I started throwing everything from small spinner baits to kind of jerk baits. 
small rubber, medium rubber, big rubber, can throw bucktails. It's pretty much my do-it-all rod. If I'm taking one rod in the boat, I'm taking this 9-foot Moab Revolution Reel seat. I have it paired up here with an 8-to-1 Pro Rex. Next year, I'll probably be running a 7-to-1 Okuma on it. You can do so much with this rod. This found that it was just almost like a perfect do-it-all rod for us. Depending on the size of lures you guys want, if you kind of go to a smaller size of lure, I'd maybe recommend moving down to the SWAT or the Shock and Awe. But for Dave and I, we can almost do everything with a Moab. And like I say, this is far and away the best piece of gear that I had in 2022. So definitely check out the Moab. Hey guys, gear of the year for us in 2022. For the rods, definitely been the Chaos 2020 Assault Stick. Where does it say it? Moab. We got these this year. Handle pretty much anything. We used it right down to spinner baits, eh, Dave? Uh, -huh, like a five ounce growler. Yeah, spinner baits, bucktails. Right now, I got a red October tube. Handles pretty much everything. I love it with the Revolution reel seat. Just one of our all around best rods this year. So for us, definitely top five gear of the year. I appreciate you guys watching. And for the best lures of 2021, check out the video right here and stick around in a week's time. You're going to have the best lures of 2022. Hopefully you guys like this. The top five pieces of gear that we had in 2022. We're going to do another quick video like this where we're going to talk about the best accessories we had. So look for best accessories and best lures. And until next time, 54 Bust is out of here. We'll catch you guys out on the water later.